Yeah, well, I was just desperate to, to play for Ireland. And when I was called up, I didn't realise that it was right at the start of a World Cup campaign. I just wasn't really in touch with the international calendar because I'd never played that level before. So when I knew it's what we were going into, I had my heart fully set on it, just like the rest of the squad squad had. And, and yeah, to, to say that we, we've done it and we've qualified and we're finally here is just, yeah, very proud. Um, yeah, no, we are we are quite settled. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of travel within the tournament, but hotel staff and everyone have been brilliant. You know, we are out in the mornings for a, a coffee and we've got to look around a little bit. And yeah, it's just, it's so nice to be here. And obviously, we'd like to see a little bit more, but for the time being, we have to focus on the games and making sure we're ready. Um, yeah, like we have a few players that have been lucky enough to play in front of uh, big crowds. Obviously, there's been some big games in the WSL when we played in front of a big crowd against USA recently. Obviously, it's nothing on that magnitude, but it's not really something that you can prepare for. You, you're going to get goosebumps. It's going to be like a really special moment. And yeah, you just have to thrive in that. And I'm sure that's what we'll do. Yeah, no, I haven't yet. There is a little bit of a man-made beach where we're staying at the hotel, so I'm sure I need to get down there at some point and, you know, get my Brazilian flair beach soccer out and <laughs> do a bit of training. But, yeah, no, that is that is something that I did before and was really fun and I actually owe a lot to my game um, in terms of keeping the ball in the air and touches and stuff. So, yeah, no, I need to find a beach. Yeah, so the rules are a bit different with beach soccer. The goalkeeper can only have the ball in their area for three seconds and after that they need to use their feet and come out. So goalkeepers can dribble, they can score. So I, I was crazy enough to throw myself around in there and was all right with my feet, so that's where I ended up. Yeah, no, I obviously we've played an in-house game um, not too long ago against Germany and it's a team I've watched a lot and I thought they were brilliant throughout the Euros. Um, I love the kind of football that they play and some of the players they have have been around women's football and have been world class for, for years. So I think we'll possibly be seeing them in the final would maybe be my prediction. God, everybody. <laughs> obviously, this is the stage to be at. Um, I know a couple of the girls out here. Um, Alex Chidiak is a friend of mine who's obviously playing with Australia. Um, I played at Tottenham Hotspur with Shalina Zdorsky, who's with Canada. So it's just good to see your your friends and, and people that have been working so hard for a few years, you know, on this stage. So, yeah, everybody, I guess. Up in, in, in green, we'll see a lot of green around that stadium that day. A lot of the girls and myself, we have family coming over, so um, we're going to have huge support there. But no matter what, um, we'll do everything on, on, on the pitch to, to try and get a result. We know Australia are a fantastic team and um, we know what to come up against. So, yeah, as I said, we're, we're ready and, and we're prepared. Family yeah, of course, a lot of family. My, my boyfriend's coming over, not my family, but a lot of the girls' families are on the way over right now. And, um, yeah, they're just so much support for us here. Um, everyone back in Ireland, the buzz is unbelievable. We can see it all over social media. So the whole of Ireland's behind us, and um, we want to pay them back and put in some good performances and just do the country proud. Yeah, it's absolutely massive. Look, this team has come a long way from back in 2017 where we, we got that breakthrough um, equal pay deal. And uh, for future generations, for those young girls and boys back home to be looking at us and, you know, dreaming of a World Cup, now they can see that and they can believe that they can get here. So um, I think that's the most important thing to come out of it. We have a, 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 a platform as professional athletes uh, to inspire people. And I think we're doing that now. And um, for me, I want to leave this number 10 shirt in the best possible condition when I'm ready to go off and, and leave it for that next kid so I think that's important um, yeah obviously they're an absolutely fantastic team they're a strong team they've really world-class players so I think they'll they'll go very far in the tournament don't really know where they'll finish I, I, I won't say that right now but um, I know they'll they'll do fantastic they're a very very strong team and every time we have came up against them as a squad um, it's a really really tough game against them um, and I can see them going far definitely not nervous um, I'll tell you that but I think Obviously, Australia have fantastic players. Um, Sam Kerr, obviously, an absolutely amazing striker, scores a lot of goals, so we'd have to have our eyes on her. But not only Sam Kerr, they have Caitlin Ford, they have a very dynamic forward line, and um, yeah, they're, they're a fantastic team all around, and um, they'll give us a challenge, but we'll be ready for it.